Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to upload multiple files from local folder to FTP server by using FTP task in SSIS package. We will learn following items. How to create an SSIS package from basics. We will learn how to use for each loop container with the file enumerator and we will learn how to load those files which are in local folder to FTP server folder. We will learn how to use the variables to so we can use those variables to change the folder paths in a different environment such as UAT, SIT, QA or production when we deploy this package. Now what I have here for you, I have some files sitting in the local folder. So I have a customer AS, customer AS as a Excel file. This file is a text file, and the second one is Excel file. The next I have customer underscore EU file, European file, and then I have customer underscore NA file, and then one of the file is a trace file. We have my trace. So all of them pretty much has a different structure. And uh, some of them are, are even the text files, but they have different data. So what we want to do, we want to load all these files uh, to the uh, FTP server. And here, that's how we are going to go FTP. First of all, let me show you how you can access the FTP server. So I have uh, the IP address for my FTP server. You can have uh, the IP address or you might have uh, uh, the address uh, something like this uh, you will say ftp.microsoft.com you can use that one uh, for just for the testing if you don't have FTP but we have the videos of how to set up uh, your local FTP by using uh, Windows 7 or Windows 2012 so you can watch those videos and set up your FTP and perform the real-time demos what I'm shown here now if I will take this uh, address uh, and paste uh, in the Explorer I will be connecting uh, to the FTP server and I can see the folders uh, here is the test folder that's where we will be loading those uh, files uh, right now what we have uh, we have two files uh, and all of other files uh, will be loaded here as uh, well now go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools uh, or BIDS uh, whatever you have and then create a new SSIS package by right clicking on SSIS packages The package is created. Now let's rename this package. We call this one pkg underscore upload multiple files. That's what we are naming this one. Here in the tasks, we have a FTP task. So bring that to the control flow pan. And then we have to have a configure the FTP connection. So let's hit here new connection and here we have to provide the server name in my case I will be providing uh, my IP address uh, here so I, let me copy this one go to the connection manager paste it here it is working absolutely fine here in the Explorer so you can see that I can um, open any folder one nine. let me see here so I can open any folder I can uh, go to the parent directories so it's working fine so I took the same address and went to the SSIS package and pasted it there so now if I will provide the username and password and test it what happened it is saying connection cannot be established server name port name or credential may be invalid this error is totally leading you in the wrong direction nothing is wrong so you have to have only remove this part from your FTP server name or IP address once you remove that it will just work fine so that's how you will be providing here I have this one if you want to use ftp.microsoft.com you can provide that or you can use any other whichever the, your company does provide you so don't provide those backslashes and FTP with it that's gonna throw you error now we are all good and next uh, part what we want to do I want to create the variable first uh, here and I would like to call this variable folder path that's uh, 
the folder that has our all the files so I will be using this va variable to keep this folder path so let me copy go back to package paste it here next uh, we will be saving those files uh, into the remote folder so we will call the remote folder and here what we have to provide uh, we have to provide uh, the remote folder path now in the remote folder path we can see that uh, let's once we open it we can go to file transfer and here we are sending the files uh, and in the remote path uh, we can click here it will tell us all those folders here and we are going to the test folder so I'm gonna copy this one and just provide it here we can delete it from here we will be using variable why I'm using variable because I can change the values of variables by using configuration in different environment so that's why I'm using it so now we have the values for the local path and remote folder next part we have to loop through those files which are uh, in the folder and lo uh, upload them uh, one by one so I will be using uh, here for each loop so once I will use the for each loop inside the for each loop I will be using FTP task so let's go and get uh, one thing here we will be using expressions and here in the directory hold on sorry we will be using a uh, for each loop uh, sorry for each file enumerator because we are extracting the file names from the folder and here in the expressions uh, we will be providing the folder path so hit here and use the variable expressions hit ok now you can use the variable or you can use the parameter your choice uh, and we are reading all the files we have an excel file we have a text file and everything and that's uh, that's what we want to do we want to upload every file from that folder to the FTP server here uh, we have options we have name and extension we have a fully qualified path that gives us a folder path plus the file name plus the extension or we can use the name only I'm gonna use uh, the fully qualified path because uh, uh, if I have that one I can use that directly as a variable in the FTP and it will uh, read that file if I will use uh, for a name and extension then I have to create another variable to concatenate the folder path with this variable uh, to save the name and extension to that and then use it in, in the FTP task so I'm going to use a fully qualified path that will give us folder path backslash file and extension and I don't have subfolders so I'm not going to use uh, uh, tr tr uh, transverse of subfolders so I'm going to be just using the files from the main folder so now we go to the variables and here we can create a new variable called file full path this is where we this is one that we will use in FTP task hit ok we are all set now we go to FTP task and configure it we already have created the connection we will be using a file transfer tab here and then we will say is local path variable yes it is and which variable we will use file full path because that has a folder path backslash file name and extension and then we are sending the file from local to the uh, FTP that's fine and then uh, next uh, in the remote parameter is the remote path variable uh, path is a variable yes it is and then here we will provide that variable that is containing the folder name so it is a remote folder and then it is asking if the file does exist already what you want to do we want to overwrite in the destination if we would not do that and file is existing existing there it is going to throw us error so your choice I mean if your requirement is if the file is existing there you don't want to overwrite it you just want to fail it and that's how you would know that that's fine but in my case I want to overwrite all the files if they are existing there so hit ok now we are all set let's go to the FTP take a look what we have in the folder we have in the test folder we have only two files sitting there run our SSIS package and it is going to load 
or upload five new files for us run the package it is working one after one now we go to the FTP and we have to refresh and we see that all the files are uploaded to the FTP server now we can open it here text files at least and can see the text but if we will open the trace file and all that uh, it's not gonna be opening right here so it will ask you where you wanna open it and all so we can cancel this out but we see that these files are uploaded from local folder to the um, FTP folder now next time if you will move some extra files let's say you create a new file here you don't have to make any changes in your SSIS package my new file if you run your package again this file will be also uploaded as part of other files and you can see that on FTP let's refresh and we see my new file is there it doesn't have any data so that's how you will be uploading the files from local folder to the FTP server folder and uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video with a different scenario.